Hello everyone, it is time for a bowl of American products! So, um, it's been a while since, um, I did my last video, uh, looking at the clock, it's been roughly uh, five hours. I got burnt out. So, this is, um, third video that I'm redoing today. It's 11 o'clock right now in the the western part of the country and uh, in this video uh, yours truly will tell you about things that he likes and we're gonna do it on American Truck Simulator it works out well you know why it works out well I guess we'll use this one uh, I can't use the in-truck radio because it's all licensed music. How cool is that? Oh, I just had an idea. Give me a second. I think we're good. All right. Let us let us do this. Um, so uh, this video is going to be five things that I like. Yep. It's a list video. So... Buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> and so I did this, like I said, I did like six videos that were just like, oh man, man, oh man. That's what's up with my frame rate. Things don't look that great. Normally, oh gosh, gosh, parking brakes. Who needs them? Normally I don't have poopy frame rates, but I was getting poopy frame rates on, um, Nation Red, too. I wonder if there's a process in the background that's taking a lot of processing time. Could it be... Could it be my... My recording software? This process intensive. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I didn't take my turn wide enough. So, uh, number one. Things that Brandon likes. Music. Why is that number one? Oh, just put Ah! Just... Oh, no! I was looking at the the mirror and not where I was going. That's 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 my bad. Ah, oh, Trey. Ah, oh, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, this is a horrible decision. Let's take a look. See here. Up. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, that's not it. Why am I not going forward? Uh, number one is music. Ah. How was that? My dog just went nuts. There's no one down here but me. My wife is upstairs. Oh uh, no. This is, this is stupid. Why are all these trailers so damn long? The last one I did when I tried this earlier this morning was the same thing. It was just ridiculous. Um. Anyways. Uh, music. And... I, I have to say, when I say music, I don't just mean, ah, oh, like listening to the radio. No, no, I don't. I don't. And I'll discuss why in the next one, but I don't. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not a fan of the radio. I mean, I listen to it because up until just like a week ago, my only mode of music was AM, FM because that's all I had in my cars. But, I, I mean, I am a fan of music in the way that, um... Oh! Hi! Uh, oh, that taxi was the only one. I have a really long trailer, so I get to do this kind of stuff. It's not technically illegal. There goes the power line! I'm going the wrong way! Oh my gosh! This isn't, this isn't good. Alright, you guys wait. You guys wait, okay? Um... Okay, we're good. Things are great. <laughs> Things are fantabulous. Music. I play music. Like, a lot. Like, um, I play. So, so let's let's go back to, back in time, step in the Wayback Machine, go to the beginning of my musical style career. I started with the clarinet. And it's not because I wanted to play the clarinet, but because my band director said, Oh, no, 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 no. No, you can't do the one you want. 
You gotta play this one first, and then you can do the one you want. What I wanted was the bass clarinet. And the bass clarinet was, think like a saxophone, like a tenor or a berry in length, but it's a clarinet and it makes clarinet sounds. And it's awesome. It's so much deeper. Like if you hit the lowest, uh, lowest G on the instrument that it can play, it sounds like a didgeridoo. I'm not even kidding. It's so cool. Makes your mouth vibrate though, which is a little weird. It is a little weird. I'm just sharing that with you. Um, really, I, what is with the choppy frames here? This is American Truck Sim. It's not like I'm playing Crisis. Uh, so yeah, I, I played that, and then I got to high school, and the band director is like, no, 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 we don't, we don't do that. Like, if it's needed in a song, we will, we will. Oh, are you? What are you doing there? I wasn't stopping. I was getting ready to take a really, really. Oh no! Oh no! A really wide turn. That. Oh, you can do it. You can do it, trailer. Oh my gosh! I'm the worst truck driver ever. Come on! Oh, you can do it. Uh, so no, I started playing saxophone. Come on. Come on! Ugh, why are they all this long? I pick horrible jobs. Um, and I started with alto, I didn't like it too much. And I played tenor, so that's what I played. I played tenor, I enjoyed tenor, it was a blast. And uh, I tried Barry for a little while in jazz band, but I went back to tenor. And I stuck with it. And about my senior year, I got interested as I got, like, gifted, I guess, if you want to use the term, a uh, hand-me-down trumpet. And I, I got, I, I taught myself scales and stuff, but I'm not good at it. So I don't like to say I can play it, but I technically can. If you want me to play like hot grass buns or stupid shit like that. Um, and then I started college and in college I played tenor or sax a little more and I quit. I dropped out of college. So that was the end of me playing music. If you were thinking I was done, no, no, I'm not done playing music. I learned piano. I know how to play piano. And oh my gosh, I'm getting like two frames a second. I need to get out of that town and find out what the what is up. And we're gonna try to get to 55 before I start messing with the frames and, or with the settings. But when I come back, I'll be at uh, cruise control. But anyways, what was I saying? Oh, um, I know how to play uh, piano. And then after I learned how to play piano, I got interested, and this is wholly a nerd thing. This is my video game-ish coming out. Um, I learned uh, ocarina, and I can play that better than I can play trumpet, so I feel good about it. But it's a woodwind, so it's not too far and removed from... Um, I guess I have to turn it down to, down to this? Let's see if that does it. Because I mean, like, I've recorded before and it was fine at this setting, and I know the only thing going on in the background is, um. OBS. Register for Obamacare! Plus this junk mail. Oh, that was really loud in my ear. Um, I'm not likely to recommend Windows 10 because I get crappy spam uh, notifications in my phone or my recordings. <laughs> so where was I at? Oh, um, I play a lot of instruments. It's basically what I'm trying to say. So, oh, oh, look at that. Like, all of the frames came back. That was neat. Oh, there we go. Cruise control was on. So, what are we talking about now? Oh, music's that I love. Uh, I listen to everything. Right now, it's been about eight years, but I've been on a metal kick. I listen to everything, like, you name it, Big Head Todd and the Monsters, and you name a lot of bands. I'm on Amar, Sabaton, uh, Poets of the Fall. My all-time favorite, by the way. Number one on top of that list is Poets of the Fall. Oh my gosh, Marco can sing. Um... I love Agnes Obel, I like 
a whole bunch of bands that I don't remember. Oh, there's one called Heilung. They are uh, German. Kinda as German for um, healing, but they're like a neo-pagan folk group. It's really cool. I enjoy them. Um, what else do I listen to? I listen to everything. Uh, like favorite. Like, I even have guilty pleasure music. Like, I'm not a big fan of glam rock, just because, oh my gosh, this overproduced crap, but I did enjoy Motley Crue. So, uh, explain that. <laughs> that's the sound I make when I break. Well, that's like a real life thing, too. I don't just make sounds like that when I'm playing video games. All right, wide turn, wide turn. I think we're good. I think this is the first turn I did that was halfway decent. And yeah, I love music. I just, I do. It's, oh man, everything about it. Any kind of music. I like to, ooh, I've got a sunroof. I didn't mean to find that out. I have a rule or a thing, not so much a rule, uh, but it's, I like to find a new band every week. That's what I do. So I will um, just like, I use Google to listen to a lot of it, but Oh my gosh, I'm tired. Um, I will... Get a right turn, right? Oh, it's green. Um, I'll go to Last FM and I'll pick a band that I like or a genre that I know and it will send me to like different stuff. I don't use Spotify because, you know, I don't know. You, you, you go with what you're comfortable with. It's not that Spotify is bad. Not by any means. But that's what I started with, because last was around before Spotify. At least I'm pretty sure it was. I found it first. I found it before I found Spotify. Oh. Okay. Back to 55 miles an hour. Alright, uh, enough with music. Like, I could talk all day about music. Favorite songs, favorite like genres, neatest things I found. Um, I'm going to say number two is reading. <laughs> I love reading. I like all sorts of reading. Like I don't, I don't discriminate. I love reading nonfiction. I love reading fiction. I love reading books, like full books, like novels. I love reading trilogies, novellas. I love all the genres. Uh, maybe, maybe not all the genres. I don't do Harlequin type romance crap. I don't do that. Um, but I will do, like, oh, I have to share this. This was a mistake. So this is something about me and reading that I, I feel I have to share. Um, I'm one of those people when I start something I have to finish it and I'm not one to like pop into books to see what they're like I will read the back cover or the inside flap depending if it's hardcover or softcover and read the title and that's it I'm like oh man that sounds cool I'm gonna read it and if it's garbage then I still have to finish it <sighs> there was a book I read and I can't remember the author I'm not gonna try to dig it up either it's called Fiend. It was a vampire novel, and I was like, ah, oh, man, finally something that doesn't have anything to do with sparkles. It was worse. It was so much worse. Like, the first 30 pages were decent. Because, I mean, like, vampires are sensual creatures. There's a bit of eroticism involved with the book. But after, like, he got turned, which, by the way, I will admit was one of the coolest, like, vampire transformations I've ever seen written in, in, in page. Um, but after that, it was 250 pages of orgy. That's it. Having sex in different eras, getting bored with one style of sex, getting into other things. It was just, ugh. Ugh. Make Fifty Shades look tame. I haven't read that one, personally. Just saying from what I've heard. Makes all the ladies blush. Uh, and some guys. So... Yeah, uh, I will say things I don't like is being overly wordy. I mean, like, description is a good thing, but don't, don't, don't be Stephen King. Don't be J.R.R. Tolkien. Don't give me 30 pages of description of a character or a setting that isn't going to matter in the grand scheme, scheme of things. And that is directed directly at Mr. J.R.R. Tolkien and the Tolkien residence. Good lord. 30 pages, character. No one cares who he is. Doesn't show up again after that. Done. Can't. Um, I read comic books. Uh, I read uh, web comics. I like anything that I find remotely interesting, I get into. 
And I read everything from, like I said, comic books, like pulpy stuff, to like Pulitzer Prize winners. And I think the reason I read as much as I do, or as much as I did, I don't read a lot anymore. It has to grab me. I think the last trilogy, or last book series I read was the Strain trilogy, and it took me three days, just because it took me in. And, oh man, I went through one of those depressions after you finished it. You know, like you're you're done with the book, and you're like, wow, I'm never gonna have to, I'm never gonna see these characters again. Never gonna spend time with them in the land of make believe, but what I deal with. Um, yeah, like. I've read The Fixer by, by Bernard Malamud, which is seriously one of the greatest books I've ever read. I loved it. It was a Pulitzer Prize winner. It's based on a true story. And yeah, I read everything. I read everything in between. You know, I love history, alternative history, Harry Turtle Dove. I like his American Empire books. They're just fun. They're fun. I like uh, Jeffrey Deaver. I love a good twist. Oh, man can make a right. Man can write good twists. Um. Yeah, moving on. Number three, things that I like to do, uh, video games. But that's a, 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 a non-point, so um, I'm gonna skip it. We're gonna say number three is movies, because of course an extension of books is movies, and it's awesome to see your favorite stories on film. And it's not even it's not even just seeing that kind of stuff, or being like, oh man, that was a really cool like explosion, and oh man, there's oh, ah, so great. No, it's not like that. Like, I'm a big fan of, like, the technical side of it. Like, I enjoy, you know, like, learning how they film things and how actors do things. And, like, uh, one of my all What was going on? That guy in the RV is a jackass. <laughs> Look at that. I'm swerving in and out of traffic like some kind of jack and apes. Ugh. Can't, can't stand people like him. Um. Man, if I were only doing the video that I was planning on doing next... That would be perfect. That'd be a great segue. Um, all right, so movies. Like, all right, uh, I know the movie that made me realize that uh, Chris Evans was going to be a really good actor, and it wasn't just this boy trick. Whoa, movie that was uh, Fantastic Four, one and done, and just a shitty, shitty action flick. I'm not harping on like the actual comics because a lot of really good Fantastic Four stories. Like, there's one called Books of Doom. Love that comic series. Loved it. Um, but, so Chris Evans was in this movie with Killian Murphy and Rose Byrne before she was really, really famous. At least in the US. I'm sure she'd had some success in the. Uh... Oh, it's getting dark. I don't know how to turn on my lights. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, is it H? Oh, that's Horn. <laughs> P. Nope, those are. That's. Um, nope. Uh. Anyways, um, so, uh, spoiler alert, I mean, the movie's almost ten years old now, so we can not worry about spoilers, I feel. Um, Chris Evans dies, right? So he's the, sh so Sunshine, the, the sun is dying. It's dying earlier than we figured it ever would, by, like, a lot. So we send a bomb. And then a lot of people who were like, oh, I'm science made fun of it. Because, oh, of course, we would send a bomb, we're humans, we're going to blow up the star. No, what it is, is it's technically a bomb, but it um, it would make a tiny star. It would start uh, the reactions necessary to create a small star. And that small star would feed our star and kind of reignite things that have been starting to go awry. And yeah, why did I get off the interstate? Why did my GPS have me do that? Anyways, Chris Evans is the engineer on the ship, um, and, you know, things go wrong. Murphy's Law, that's how it is. And guess what? He dies. And he dies in the coolant because the mainframes for the ship uh, were pulled out of the coolant, and they had to be put back in. And uh, I actually don't know if it's called the mainframes, but basically is the central processing unit of the ship. Obviously, those things run really hot, so it had to be in this liquid refrigerant. And um, he had to dive in, but it's cold enough to kill people, and that's how it ki he kills himself. I mean, he doesn't kill himself, he dies saving the ship. Getting back to it, in between takes, Chris Evans would um, sit in an ice bath. So that when he was cold, it was believable. It wasn't just, oh, I'm cold. 
but like those scenes where he is, his teeth are chattering, if you watch it, that's actually him. He's actually that cold. That is dedication, that is amazing. He was borderline hypothermic when it was all done. That is like, that's what makes a good actor to me. It's like if you can pull off a convincing death scene and you do what you need to do to make it happen, more power to you, that's great, that's awesome. Um, that's three, so we gotta go to we gotta go to four now. Uh, we're almost done. Uh, four. What do I like? What do I like? Uh, I'm a big fan of reading movies. Uh, drive. Oh, driving. Driving was the other one that I really like. I love driving. I'm a big fan. I like driving. Like anything. I don't care. It's not. It's not. Oh, you like to be in cars? No, I like to be in any car. Like that car in front of me there, that fake one. If it were real, I would enjoy driving it. And it's an SUV. How are those fucks? They aren't. It's become the new sedan. Sedans and SUVs are the most boring cars you can drive, but I will still love them every second of the way. He put me in a, a Geo Metro with like a four-cylinder engine, but only three cylinders work. Yeah, yeah, I would do that. It'd be fun. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. I've driven, I've driven minivans, I've driven old pickups, I've driven, uh, like, my last car was a 94 Mercury Sable, my current car is a Chrysler 300, my car before that was a, uh, 94 Ranger, like, I will listen, or I will do anything, like, some days I, if I'm having a rough day, like, I had that today, uh, I had six videos done, and none of them had sound at all, like, Something in my OBS settings was wonky, and I had to like down downgrade and put everything on one track, which I hope this sounds good. Thank oh please please sound good. Um, I'm in California, Fresno, Fresno, California. Um, like I'll drive anything. I want to drive. BMW has this car. They're discontinuing it, but it's it's called the i8, and I mean it looks. Like, oh no, I need to turn here. Oh, I need to turn here. Um, it looks great. It looks really cool. It looks like a supercar. It's a three cylinder engine strapped to a 15 mile electric engine. That's all it is. That's all it is. But I want to drive it. I want to drive it. I want to drive a Tesla. I want to drive, you know, like Maseratis and stuff. And like, I would like, anything. Put me in a Chevy Astro. Then everyone, it'd still be fun. You can do anything if they're all wheel drive. Um,. What was it? What else? Like, seriously, I love to drive. I love cars. I love learning about cars. Like, you know, I mean, my dad, my dad's a master mechanic. So, like, that kind of lets you know, like, my, um, my, like, intro to cars and stuff. Like, I've been around them and everything about them most of my life. I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. And I need to get my fifth one done because I'm almost done with this. Uh, number five thing that Brando likes. Uh, what did I say? Uh, driving. Oh, camping. Oh, I love camping. Like, everything I've said so far has been very, like, indoorsy, kind of in-city-ish. Uh, in-city-ish. Get it? <laughs> oh, no. I had it perfect. Yes. Got it done. Uh, but I love, like, I grew up in, I grew up in the West. Spearfish, South Dakota is my hometown. It's part of the Black Hills. It's got the oldest canyon in the nation, you know? Like, literally, I'm not kidding. It's older than the Grand Canyon. And, uh, there's all these cool things that we can do. Um. Like, we, there's mine shafts and, and camping, like, hidden. Not hidden, just we don't tell people about them who aren't from the state go camping all the time and I miss it I used to do it a lot there's a campsite on the mountain near me but my tent got destroyed I haven't been up in like two or three years so yeah those are uh, those are five things that I like and the next one next one I'm gonna do is five things that I don't like and I don't know what I'm playing I might play Skyrim I might play something else I don't know but uh, yeah that's gonna be it for me today I've, I've, like, technically, if you think about it, I've recorded uh, 12 videos, and <laughs> of them, three were usable. Woo! I think I've spent a solid, like, six, seven hours recording today and doing almost no editing. I threw, the first video was kind of like a train of thought thing, so I threw my outro 
and on it, and that was it. That's all I did, and I put it up. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to call it here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you want to hear more. I should have said that earlier. That's what all the cool kids are doing now. They're telling you to subscribe in, like, the first three minutes. Um, and if you like this video, click like. And remember, if you do subscribe, ring that bell. Ding dong, ring dong the ding dong. And that way you know when I'm doing another video. And uh, as always, have a good one. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night.